What's up, Vikings fans? Hey, your team is in the playoffs as we sit here on a Tuesday morning. So like this video if you're hyped, if you're fired up about the Vikings win over the Bears. Ugly win, but a win is a win, especially in these divisional games this time of year in the month of December. So hit that thumbs up icon if you're fired up about the victory. With that being said, we'll talk about this game. Plus, take a look at the updated playoff picture in the NFC. You're watching Vikings Now by Chat Sports. I'm Harrison Graham, taking a look back at last night's win over the Chicago Bears. We'll talk some of the main storylines out of this one. Plus, kind of project ahead, see where the Vikings stack up with three weeks to go. It was ugly, but they got it done 17 to 9, really 17 to 3. The Bears scored a meaningless touchdown on the last play of the game. Kirk Cousins actually threw for a career low 87 yards in this one, but Two touchdowns, had just one interception on a play where Justin Jefferson got tangled up. Could have been a defensive hole, but kind of one of those weird ones there where the ball just floats up and gets intercepted. Uh, Dalvin Cook grinded out 89 yards, really had to work for those, and Jefferson did have a uh, receiving touchdown as well. And obviously, defense gave up some yards, but made plays when it had to, especially in the red zone as the Bears had major troubles finishing off some drives. So what's your one-word reaction to the Vikings win over the Bears on uh, Monday Night Football. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, let me know. One word reaction to this win for Minnesota. My main takeaway is it wasn't pretty, but a win's a win. You did it. You got it done. Um, winning in December is you'll take it any way you can get it, right? You know, this isn't college football where the eye test factors into your playoff seeding. It's, uh, it's all about just winning. You're 7-7. Seven and seven, You're in the mix. Uh, it's been a wild season for Minnesota, but uh, any win you get right now is a valuable one as uh, there's a lot of stuff going on with the Vikings, potential hot seat status for Mike Zimmer. But as of right now, like I said, in a decent position to make the playoffs here in 2021. Let's take a look at some of the statistics from last night's game. The offense was ugly, folks. Less than 200 yards. Kirk Cousins threw for just 87, a net 61 passing yards when you factor in the four sacks. Uh, Vikings ran for 132, but it wasn't, you know, high um, yards per carry on, the, on that front. Third and fourth down, not very good. One turnover is fine. No big deal on that front. Uh, Cousins will obviously have to play better uh, to uh, if this team wants to make some real noise and A, get into the playoffs and B, make a run potentially. Primetime Cousins, I mean, you know, he, he didn't exactly shake those cobwebs, but he did get a win. 12 of 24, 87 yards, two touchdowns. Again, the pick is, uh, you know, not really one that I would uh, – you know, blame Cousins for as uh, Jefferson got tangled up and uh, fell to the ground on that one. But I think it's fair to question if this guy can get this team to the playoffs and if he can be the guy that guides this team to a playoff win or more. Do you trust Kirk Cousins in the playoffs and really from now until the playoffs? Do you believe in Kirk Cousins that he can play better and win some of these big-time matchups coming up? Because you have two hard games the next two weeks. Type Y for yes, type in for no. Do you trust Kirk Cousins in the playoffs? Why don't we make this the pinned comment on today's video? That way you guys get your votes in during this YouTube ad break. All right, let's talk about Dalvin Cook now. Rushing attack. It was a grind, man. The Bears defense really came to play despite having a lot of dudes out, especially in that secondary. 28 carries, 89 yards, 3.2 average. Uh, obviously not the most efficient night of Dalvin Cook's career, but he grinded out some important uh, yards, able to uh, chew, out, chew out some clock in the second half to try and limit some possessions there. Uh, this, of course, coming off uh, the week before where he had 205 yards against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think he'll be just fine. Justin Jefferson, the other star of this offense, uh, four catches, 47 yards, had a touchdown. Uh, I thought he would have a bigger game, but the Bears kind of made a point uh, to bracket him most of the night because uh, they were playing with a bunch of backups because their entire secondary was on the COVID list. Uh, so give them credit for that. Uh, but Jefferson still had a few key catches, including that touchdown in the first half. So the offense, while it wasn't pretty, made enough plays to get the job done. We'll talk more about this matchup in just a moment, but I want to tell you guys about a deal uh, that we have. This Vikings hoodie is 50% off when you go to chatsports.com slash Vikings hoodie. We'll make sure that link is in the comments and in the description. Click and shop today. Uh, if you order it today, it's not going to get there by Christmas, but you can just pull the whole, well, the mail's been slow this year, and, uh, you know, you can open it after Christmas. It's a, it's a bonus gift for you or your loved ones. 50% off, chatsports.com slash Vikings hoodie. Go ahead and click and shop today. 
Okay, let's look at the defense. Now, the total yards, not great, but I will mention that 85 of that was on that final meaningless drive by Chicago, so I wouldn't uh, put that much stock into that. You pretty much held the Bears to under 300 yards, uh, slowed down the run, and obviously you get the three takeaways, which is huge, and got off the field on the key downs. Four for 17 on third and fourth down was the Bears' offense. Sure, Justin Fields, statistically, it'll look like he had a pretty good night, 85 of that, and the only touchdown was on that last meaningless drive. He was 20 of 30 before that. Uh, sure, he did some good things, and you could argue he outplayed Kirk Cousins, but at the end of the day, you give up nine points and really just three because, again, that final six doesn't mean much. Uh, Mike Zimmer called a good game. He did a good job defensively. Uh, I know he's on the hot seat, but uh, he had this defense ready to go, and uh, that proved to be true on Monday night. Uh, Sheldon Richardson, Anthony Barr, Chris Boyd all coming out with those fumble recoveries. One of those on special teams. Uh, I believe that was the Chris Boyd one on the drop punt. Uh, I believe that's correct. As Richardson and Barr came out with the other fumbles, one of Justin Fields. And the strip of David Montgomery was huge. That one was Sheldon Richardson uh, because the Bears were inside the 15-yard line in the first half looking like they were about to score. Make sure you guys subscribe to Minnesota Vikings today. Producer Jack Lottere has been grinding hard to help build this channel for you guys. Closing in on 2,000 subscribers. Help us get there. Hit that big red button. And, hey, it's playoff push time, so this is the time to get on the bandwagon. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. So the Vikings win 17-9 over the Chicago Bears, and now the focus becomes, okay, what does this team have to do to make the playoffs? So let's look at how things sit uh, right now, uh, technically still in Week 15 because uh, Washington and Philadelphia play each other tonight. Obviously, the winner of that game gets to 7-7 seven and seven as well. But as of now, Vikings at 7-7. Seven and seven, you know, you went out, you're going to make the playoffs. There's definitely a chance. Uh, what's the old, uh, the old quote from Community? So you're telling me there's a chance. There's absolutely a chance, folks. And earlier in the year, it did not seem like that was going to happen, especially, I mean, you go back to some of the losses. I mean, you lose to Cooper Rush uh, when Dat Prescott was out against the Cowboys. You're thinking, oh, man, this, this team's just not going not gonna to rally this year. But they're 7-7. Seven and seven. They're right here and uh, with an opportunity uh, to control their own destiny. Uh, now, you look at the schedule and you're like, oh, next two weeks are tough. Uh, you got to at least split the Rams and Packers. Can't lose both. I think you're going to have to at least get to nine wins to make the playoffs. Bears at home in Week 18, that's a game you should be able to win. Uh, so uh, I, don't, I don't worry about that one as much. But I think you got to beat the Rams, and then you may have to beat the Packers as well. But for sure, you have to win at least one of those two games uh, to feel like you're in a good position heading into Week 18 against the Chicago Bears. So what do you think? Will the Vikings make the playoffs this season? Type, y, or type 1 for yes. Type zero for no. I'll have a better feel after next week. You beat the Rams, I'm going to say yes. You lose the Rams, probably going to say no. Get your votes in on this one, and be sure to subscribe to the channel.